What's going on everyone? I'm Andrew with Camper Kingdom in Meridian, Mississippi, and today we're going to be viewing this brand new 2022 Forest River Sandpiper model 3440BH. BH for bunkhouse, but I'm going to call it possibly a dual suite because there's a queen in the front, queen in the rear, and there's also a loft bed in the back as well for maybe some mid-sized teenagers, little smaller kids. Sleeping room possibly for eight, nine, maybe 10, just really depending on the size of your guest. And right now I've got all the slides closed in to show you, but it looks like we're going down the road. And some of my viewers also like to know, will they have access to the restroom as well as maybe the refrigerator without letting all the slides out? You're gonna have direct access to one of the half baths, so there's a yes to that. As well as you do have access to your all electric 16 cubic foot refrigerator. But we're going to start on the outside of the coach, going over the different weights, the specs, and dimensions before heading inside. So if you're new here, welcome to the channel. Hit that subscribe button down below, and let's get started. Coming at you 38 feet, 9 inches in length, with three total slides and sleeping room possibly for eight, maybe nine people, is this 2022 Forest River Sandpiper, model 3440BH. BH for bunkhouse, but like I said in the beginning, I'm calling it more of a dual suite. Queen in the front, queen in the rear. Dry weight as this model currently sits of 11,657 pounds. Gross vehicle weight rating, 14,075 pounds. And speaking of weight, hitch weight here at the Kingpin, you're gonna be at 2,075 pounds. So definitely check the load and tow capacity of your truck before purchasing this model here. And check out all the new colors that Sandpipers come out this year. I can't really distinguish if this is a gray, a clay, or a tan color. I can't tell also if it's maybe just the rocks kind of throwing it off a little bit. Docking station for all the water management area found here in the front, which on some models, this is where the propane bottles be located at. Inline filter with two of the pool handles for the black and gray. Coach is going to be sitting on a 96 inch wide construction with a four point fully automatic leveling system. There is a little bit of manual labor involved though with the automatic leveling system. You must let the legs down halfway before pulling out the plunger before pressing one of the two controls to level this coach. Here's a good shot of the front storage compartment which does house the battery. And speaking of battery, the coach is already pre-installed from the factory with a 190 watt solar panel which does send over a trinkle charge to the house battery. The controller to operate that solar panel is found in this nice big pass-through storage compartment. That's it located right over there. Good shot of some of the construction with the radiant foil wrapping all the way around the model. TV connections and the little dropout slot there is for a TV to be resting there in place. Nicer big baggage doors, slam latches. Fully enclosed and then heated underbelly with 12 volt take heaters. All electric 14 foot awning with a white LED light strip underneath there. Hope you guys get to see that. Step above entry steps on both of the doors. These do flip up and in. There's a hydraulic cylinder to assist with doing so. Nicer big grab handle as well as a friction hinge entry door. Blindside camera prep. You're going to have about four different cameras. One on each of the blindside markers on each side. One over the door as well as one in the back. But heading back towards closer to the rear, just wanted to show you guys what these steps can do with that hydraulic cylinder. They're that easy to, uh, you know, to raise and lower. And they do have the nicer adjustable legs. Just by pressing them in, those legs will go down. It is so much sturdier compared to the old style that they used to have. Friction hinge continued over to that private half bath area. Outdoor kitchen. So you're gonna have a propane grill that will hook directly to the quick disconnect here with a miniature fridge on the back of the model so not too bad some of the pros and cons i guess could be you're not really underneath any kind of awning space that's going to be up here vacuum bonded slides and sidewalls on this coach really good structure there coming around to the back of the model four by four tubular bumper which is great for storing all of your sewer lines once you're finished camping just tilt them up in there fully walkable roof and you can get to the walkable roof by means of this rear mounted ladder 
250 pound low capacity. There's the other camera prep that I was referencing there. Coming right around, power connections found on the back of the model, which is great. All the, most of your campsites nowadays are moving those connections towards the back. Additional storage underneath this queen size bed in the rear with magnetic latches to hold that up. So this camper does have its share of ample storage space. Sewer connections on this model, you're gonna have two different ones. Here's one back here in the back for his private half bath. And the sewer pull handles are tucked behind the skirting there. Kind of wish they would have left some cool sort of cut out there for you to quickly reach through and access them. And the second sewer connection is found up here. Pull handles for that model are gonna be found inside the water management area. Fully walkable roof with a 3 8 decking, two Coleman mock air conditioners, and these both will work together to cool this model. Pre-installed 190 watt solar panel directly from the factory. And if you're looking to possibly build a shed to cover this model to the highest point, you're gonna have a ceiling height of 13 feet, four inches. Here is our model 3440BH, 38 feet, nine inches in length, with about 16 feet of that found here in the center of the coach. Three total slides with two opposing each other, opening it up nicely for you to entertain you and all of your guests. We've opted this model here with the booth dinette to add more additional sleeping space. Sleeper sofa, and you're also gonna get blackout shades all the way throughout. The slide does have breeze windows on three of the four, but this one here is gonna be a picture window. Will not open up, but you're gonna get a ton of natural light to come peeking, peeking its way through. All the windows on the model are 80% tint, safety glass as well. Coming around to the coffee prepping station, glass accent on the two cabinets found above and check out the pantry on this model. They also have wrapped the inside of the pantry with LED lights to assist with finding a guest some of your goods when you're not wanting to turn all the lights on the coach. Coffee prep station and you're gonna have that second set of leveling controls to level the model from directly inside as well. And check out the nice big grab handle before heading up into the front of the coach. Coming around to the center, kitchen island with Flamica countertops. And this Flamica is what I'm calling a pressed membrane countertop. That is a hard heated material, hard plastic material that's heated and wrapped over the counter edges, preventing it from swelling when making direct contact with any water. Stainless steel drop in sink with a residential faucet, and you do have the leaflet to extend some of the prepping range there as well. Continuing over with the Formica countertop over next to the oven, still stainless steel appliances all the way throughout. Standard size 22 inch graystone oven with a pull out drawer on the bottom for more storage. Nice or big grates on the top with three burners. Standard 31 inch LG microwave as well. Coming around to the refrigerator, Everchill is the brand 16 cubic foot and this does work off the vehicle power while going down the road. Refrigerator on the top, freezer on the bottom. This is called a French style. That's a good shot of that. Coming back to the entertainment slot. So sitting on the sofa, you're not within direct line of sight of the TV, but just slightly to the right. Nice big 50 inch TV with a sound bar underneath. And check out what they're doing with all the fireplaces this year. Stainless steel fireplace, but if you don't camp in the winter, you can definitely turn the heat off and utilize some of the lights to assist your guests with moving around. Heading to the back of the coach, we're back with this north to south queen size bed with this additional loft bed also provided up above. Ceiling height, if you're on the foam pad of 30 inches high, 74 inches long by 55 inches wide, and you will have additional storage at the foot of the bed up there as well. Queen size bed with blackout shades all the way throughout and this bed lifts up kind of sideways to expose an enormous amount of additional storage as well. But speaking of storage, hanging rod all the way across the top with four pull out ball bearing drawers there on the bottom. TV connections found at the foot of the bed but they're kind of high up. Maybe they've done that for your loft bed to be able to possibly view as well as the individuals in the bed down there as well. Maybe around for about a 32 inch TV could be mounted there. Private half bath found here in the back. You're gonna have additional storage with these 
pressed membrane countertops with a plastic sink, and you will have a nice big medicine cabinet in this bathroom. Private entrance from the outside, so that way you're not dumping all the air if your guests want to come directly in with a porcelain foot flush toilet. Before heading into the gooseneck area, all the controls to operate all your slide operations, your light switches, everything found here inside the main entrance door. One really good size grab handle leading you up into the gooseneck area where you met with this north to south queen size bed and just get a good shot of how much walkabout space you will have inside of this model. Closet slide and what they have done is they have recessed the bed into the molded fiberglass cap about 14 inches giving you all this additional space at the foot of the bed to move about seeing how this is more of a mid profile unit. USB chargers and 110 outlets found on both sides of the bed with your shelving that a lot of coaches seem to forget that people need. Breeze window with TV connections found at the foot of the bed also. Maybe room for about a 38 to a 40 inch TV. Before going through one of the possible two entrances to the bathroom, I want to go ahead and point out this closet slide which does house five additional pull out drawers. Dimensions of about a 14 by 14 and you also have this additional hanging closet provided as well with a mirror and here's a good shot of that sliding style door one of the two possible entrances going into the bathroom porcelain foot flush toilet and the dimensions of the shower are 34 by 34 and this is a full radius shower so you're going to get a little bit more shoulder room closer towards the top ceiling height inside this model is six foot five so if you're taller than that your head would definitely pop inside the dome there Additional storage provided on this side. That's because normally you're gonna have a medicine cabinet, but not on this model here, just a mirror mounted directly to the wall. Hello, that's me with my GoPro, by the way, for people who are wondering what I utilize the film with. Formica countertop, I'm tongue twisting again. Formica countertop, and again, this is a hard heated plastic that's wrapped over the Formica. Plastic sink with a plastic faucet. So now I have the living room laid out in its full sleeping arrangement to show you guys how much walk around space you're possibly gonna have if you're utilizing the sleeper booth or even the sleeper sofa. In relation to size, not quite as big as a queen size bed, but definitely bigger than a full. And on the booth, not as big as a full, but definitely bigger than a twin size mattress. And you will not have a problem walking around because of the dual slide in this coach. And at the date and time I'm making this video, MSRP of 75,000, five hundred and four dollars and forty cents but for pricing and availability i'll leave a link in the description down below so you guys can go back and view also all the additional photos of this model so like subscribe leave me a comment down below telling me what you think of all the new changes that sandpiper has done this year come see us